Every ultimate Iron Man hates this screen. Oh, yes, I'm sure. But wait. What if I didn't? What is the Huey holdout, you ask? In short, it's an even easier way to do tick manipulation. What is tick manipulation, you ask? Well, let's learn real quick by these two teaks right here as an explanation. For two tick teaks, you only need a couple things. You need three inventory slots, the best axe that you can get your hands on at this time, and a bow with no arrows equipped. A couple of things that can help you out even further are some mine runes, some air runes, uh, as many extra inventory slots as you can, and melee armor um, can help you stay here a little bit longer with survivability. So to get started on two tick teaks, it's very simple. You're going to go ahead and equip your bow with no arrows. Um, you can punch if you need to, but I find it a little easier to start like this as an air strike on these birds. Get them to attack you here. Once they're attacking you, go ahead and turn Auto Retaliate on. Without any arrows, they're perfectly safe, and they don't deal a lot of damage. But note that you will slowly lose HP over time unless you're wearing some sort of armor. Next step is to go and stand by this tree, and let's hope that they've got a good attack pattern. They do not. If you see how they're attacking like this, that's not going to work. Uh, at this point, I recommend you shift right click on the birds and make sure you have them set to swap left click to walk here. This way you don't accidentally punch them and you can just click right on them, no problem. Once you have your birds attacking you, the next thing you want to do is get them in rhythm. So the easiest way to do that is to just keep stepping back and forth like this until you get one of them to be safe spotted on the tree. There we go. Now that that one is safe spotted, we should be able to get attacked by this one. We'll wait until we get hit, then step forward. Now we have the proper pattern. Step to the side. Now they're together. Now we can simply step back in here. And there we go. We are now on pattern. I can turn on my metronome. I highly recommend you do that. Now that we have our birds attacking us in a nice cadence here, the way that you do a two tick teak is on the metronome click, when you get hit, you click the tree. On the off tick, you click the ground. If you're doing it correctly, your character will spin, as you can see here. As you can see, I'm not doing it perfectly every time. You can also drop as instead of clicking the ground, which I actually find much easier to keep in rhythm. And clicking the ground lets you do horrible things like misclick, and then, oh, now you're all messed up, and uh, I hate this. So let's make this better. So we can make this better by holding out on our drop. So remember how I said I find it easier to do the dropping instead of trying to click the ground and end up misclicking all over the place and messing up your birds? Instead, we are going to drop our valuable item and use the birds to help us hold out on actually dropping it. But there's a couple other things we can do to make our lives a little bit better first. If we go into settings, switch to the modern layout. This will allow us to move our inventory around. We're then going to set our camera so that the leaves of this tree are above the roots of this tree. That way, clicking this location, no matter what, will be right there. Our birds are already set so we don't accidentally attack them. We're going to move our inventory over to here so that our valuable item is in line with this leaf-root combination. Then we're going to set our valuable item so that the left click is set to drop. And we're going to do the same. Let's just grab a teak log real quick. Teak. There it is. We're going to use the same thing for teaks. We're going to set those to drop on left click. Now we are all set up for the Huey holdout. 
The way that this works is it's exactly the same as regular two tick teeks, but now instead of having to click the ground, we're just going to click right here. And it's just a simple cadence back and forth on these two spots. And if you get a log, you just drop it from here. You're only going to need these three inventory slots because, well, it's so easy to actually do the log drops with this, you're not going to have to worry about filling in more. So let me go ahead and illustrate how this works. Another nice thing about this is if you're ever off cadence, it will actually give you a warning. So let's say for instance I got off cadence and I drop on the hit and then I click the tree on the off. Notice how it gave me a little pop-up down here. If you ever see that pop-up, that means that your rhythm is on the wrong cadence. Very simple, you just need to make sure that you're clicking on the other beat. That's why I like having the metronome on. So let's say you're going about and then you accidentally Oh, you're off beat. It'll give you a warning. So this has a double benefit of not only giving you a less huge area that you need to click, you're now just going back and forth on this small section here, but you also get a warning if your ticks are ever off. Now I'm going to go and experiment with this technique a bit more in some other places, but I have a feeling this can also help with things like 1.5 tick ticks over at Fossil Island, um, and potentially even uh, tick manipulation over with Barbarian Fishing. Uh, this seems to be able to replace an item interaction tick manipulation type thing. So there's some strong potential here that you can use this to drop items without dropping any items. Fancy. <laughs>